Ladies and gentlemen, your co-main event of the evening is five rounds for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Let's meet the challenger. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. A second round TKO at Glory 89. Preserved his perfect professional record. 15 fights, 15 wins. 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet four inches tall, 1.94 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 200 pounds, 90.7 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mohamed Tushazi. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner. Here making his first defense of the belt since winning it at Glory 83. His professional record, 26 wins with nine losses. Seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, two inches tall, 1.90 meters, he weighed in at 209 and one half pounds and even 95 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Suriname, he is the reigning and defending light heavyweight champion of the world. He is Donnie. in charge of this championship bout is Edward Stryker. Okay, if I just listen, five rounds of three minutes with the champion belts, yes. Listen always to my commands and protect yourself all times. Any questions? No question, touch gloves if you want. Back to your corner. It was supposed to be the tank, Tariq Kababez, who got this world title opportunity. Instead, in steps Mohamed Tuchasi, who's had one glory fight. He's 22 fight. years old, and he's moving up a weight class. Good luck. Here we go. Light heavyweight title on the line. Yep. Already with a front kick from Tusashi. Let's see how he handles the bigger size of Abena. Well, we know the advantages that Abena will have, but as a smaller fighter, what does Tuchasi have as an advantage? Well, he's got to be able to use his speed and his movement. And he's got long and long legs. His legs might be longer than Abena, so outside fighting and movement is a key, especially in the beginning of this fight. You don't want to sit in the pocket against a bigger, heavy puncher. And training at Mike's gym, he's got world-class light heavyweights all over the place, so I imagine sparring was not a problem. Yep, you can see Tusashi, though, really fighting good with his kicks on the outside. But this is where Abena needs to be, using his size, his physicality, laying on Tusashi like this. Listen, let's go last step back. Fight! With an entrance that Abena had, he better not lose this fight. Ooh, nice, nice knee. knee for Tuchasi. Yeah, beautiful. Boy, that, that woke him up. The sound of that was scary, too. Nice left kick there from Tusashi, but look at that size difference and the power of the champ. Yeah, you can tell. Abain is just trying to strong arm him when he gets him against the ropes. Yeah, Tusashi's left kick, that's powerful against a smaller guy, but for Abena, he just kind of can eat that and counter that. Ooh, explosive shots from Tusashi. Didn't even phase Abena. Yeah. Those body shots will hurt. Maybe that's the strategy, just work the body. Yeah, work the body, keep using those left kicks. Bain has been really working on his boxing. Goes to England to do some boxing. I think this camp spent some time with the Furies. Nice counter low kick from Abena. Another body shot for Chichasi. Yeah. Abena's got a real high guard, so. Trying to get under those elbows with the punches and kicks. Tuchasi said he didn't have to cut any weight this week. Just ate his way to the scale, no problems. When you talk about how young Tusashi is, only being 22 years old and just turned 22. But Abena had fought Artem Vahitov, Alex Pereira, when he was 21. Ooh, left hook. Yeah, the punches are just so much heavier from Abena. Ten seconds to go. 
Ooh, that's a liver dig. Nope, slip. Time. So he survives the first round. Yeah, still brought some power, brought some pop. See the strategy playing out? The champ, Donaghy Abena, nicknamed the Silverback. Signature strikes his power punches. It's being really calculated today, trying to set things up, counter. But you can see the size and physicality of Abena in this fight. Here's our fighter facts. You can see the quote here from Tuchasi. Big opportunity for me to shine on the biggest stage in kickboxing. He cites Badr Hari as a huge influence, as does every single Moroccan kickboxer that's ever lived. You have to. It's part of your culture. You're not allowed to. See Donaghy kind of slowly pressuring, trying to rip the body, go upstairs. To Sashi, I love the punch upstairs to set up the body punches. Time. It's a great strategy against a, a high guard fighter like Abena. Yeah, Protection. that's going to be his key, Protection. isn't it? Yep. Rip the body. Fight! And a lot of good left kicks as well. But this is why we always keep saying he looks like Botter. What does Botter do? Strong jab, good left kick, good body punches. All five scoring round one for Abena. No surprise there. It was always going to be a mountain to climb for Chichasi. Not going to get easier either. Ooh. Even when they exchange jabs, you just see how much bigger Abena is. Yeah, Abena is now blocking those low kick, uh, the body shots, and then follows up with a low kick. Bena is showing him some respect, Joe. Yeah, he's, he's slowly working his way in. And if he has to, look how explosive those punches are. Remember, Tusashi taking this on four days' notice. He's having a nice spell here. Yeah, getting some good pop in his punches. Ooh, oh, boy. <laughs> That's scary when he starts throwing. He should pretend those ropes are filled with electricity. Get off him. Ooh, the left hook was close there for Abena now. Break, break. Break. I think I saw a mouthpiece shoot out. Somebody's. Two chassis. Time. Fight! Nice strong jab from the Moroccan. Donnie Bana shakes his head like, yeah, good job. <laughs> Tell you what, Chassi might be winning this round just based on output. Yeah, just volume picking his shots, head body combinations. Strong low kick from the Bane. I like that one. Yeah, that was a leg breaker. Yeah, that was high shin cutting down. No sounding, just a thud. Ooh. Those knees coming close for Tusashi. He's taking the fight to the champ. Give him credit, man. Ooh, he had a knee there. Yeah. He needed to take a set back now. He needs to reset. Those are the knees that they might not knock you out, but those ones that glance just slice your face. Bridge now. Turn around. Fight! Take into the body again. Yeah, he just commits with everything. If he's going to throw, it's going to be full power. That's probably where he'll gain some experience, learning to set up his power shots, especially over five-round fights. And right hand snuck in there. Good round for Tuchasi. Yeah, yeah, decent round for sure. Glory 90 headed your way December 23rd. Similier versus Anwar, the winner of House of Glory for the Welterweight Championship. Also, the 
the last qualifying for the last qualifying spot for the heavyweight Glory Grand Prix will take place. Go to glorykickboxing.com for ticket information. A lot of energy in that corner. Maybe yeah. we're starting to believe. Yeah. Protection, protection. Motivational Mike. He's got to get in there, get his guy going. I wonder how the judges are going to score that round. Yeah, that's, I'm curious about that as well. Uh, off Abena. five, giving it to Abena. But a decent round for Tusashi. He had moments, seemed to be busy, popped his shots, ripped the body. Well, he landed more punches. Nope, nope. strikes landed by round 22 to 20. Very similar. I just think it's the size that every time a Baina hits, it's just yeah. a little bit more damage. And when you see a Baina rip the body, it just, ooh! That exit head kick was close. We recently saw Nordin Mahadin get a nasty knockout that way. Tuchasi's landed more punches, but a Baina with the kicks. Baina stepped out of the ring. Fight! It's not over yet. A nice strong jab from Kusashi. He's got a great jab. You think there's pressure on Abena to finish this guy since he's so small? I mean, I think a lot of people are were expecting it, but I think we're seeing how good Tusashi is. You know? He's not that easy. I mean, he's now showing wear and tear, but still throwing full power. Downstairs again. That's been the best punches for Tushasi downstairs. Yeah, the way he sets it up too. I like when he goes one, two liver shot. But it just doesn't seem to be phasing Abena. He just kind of walks through them. Ooh, comes back. Right. It's moments like this you see the size difference. I stick my form in your face. Nine, nine, nine. Fight. No, 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 Joe. Not a knockdown. Nice. Ooh. If somehow Tuchasi could land a head kick. I even think a nice scissor knee. Because, I mean, you know Abena comes forward with that high guard, so maybe right kick and then shoot, scissor left knee. Ooh. Right. Fight. Deep breath now for Tuchasi. It's one thing to ask a guy on four days notice to fight three rounds, but he's gonna have to go five. Against a big fighter too. Yeah. Now Baina trying to work the body. Yeah. Tries to pull counter. One time, guys. Protection. Championship Protection. rounds. 
Tuchasi has made it to the fourth, which is a victory within itself. Yeah. Round four. Great accomplishment. Four. I mean, it's not done yet, but I think he exceeded a lot of people's expectations. No judges have given him a round yet. Thought maybe he deserved it in the second. Yeah, I agree. If there was anyone, yep. it would have been then. Bane trying to change his rhythm and tempo now with that rear knee, rear hook combination. I was going to say, I would like to see some low kicks from uh, Abena. He threw that one or two that landed really strong. Oh, caught him coming in with the left hook. Ooh. Oh, boy. Let's see if Abena can impose his will here in the fourth and get Tuchasi out of there. The great ones can put inferior opponents away. Baina landing 17 low kicks. Just earlier we seen him change it up to the calf. Tujasi just hasn't thrown many kicks at all. Well, he did have a lot of those left kicks early on in the fight. And then he stopped throwing those left kicks as much. Just found his boxing maybe more effective. Problem sometimes Tushashi overthrowing his punches and then Abane is able to catch him coming back. The punches from Tuchasi just aren't affecting Abena, whereas his just move the Moroccan every time he lands. It's just that cool, calm ring control. He hits you, there's those low kicks again, but he just keeps falling using good ring control. See how he stays in front of Tushashi, doesn't let Tushashi circle around him. Good success from that left hook from Abena. Fifty seconds to go here in round four. You want to see Abena take more chances against this guy? I think a little bit more. I think sometimes, at least near the end of the round, to maybe open up with a hard combination. Something with a finishing end to it, like a, a punch, the body shot, head kick. I do like his rear knee, rear punch combinations. He landed that head kick that was pretty close. Break! Stand back. Fight. Nice right hand for Tuchasi. Here comes the chance. Oh, and there's that big knee. Joe asked for it and he got it. Somehow Tuchasi didn't go down. Yeah, he needed something different like that. He needed to put something together, put an exclamation mark on the end of those boxing combinations. Whether it's a head kick, a knee, he's got to keep doing those. Massive crowd here tonight in the Helder Dome. 20,000 strong. And we're just one round away from the main event, the moment they've been waiting for, Rico versus Cookie. Look at that. Kickboxing alive and well. Beautiful scene. That puts a huge smile on my face. Great job by our entire Glory production team to make this happen and pull it off. Looks fantastic. If you ever get married, Joe, you should do it right in the middle of the ring, right here at the I Delco. think so. That would be nice Wouldn't if that be nice? allow me to do that. Bill Borson could produce a wedding for you. I'd, I like I'd announce the, the bridal party. That's nice. Yeah. Good, Good idea. idea. Needless Final to say, you're probably never going to get married, so we want to... <laughs> never say never. Never say never. All right, here we go. Speaking of never say never, can Muhammad Tachasi somehow find something in this fifth round to put Donaghy Abena on his backside? Hasn't won a round yet, according to the judges. Sashi back with that left kick, now front kick. He's got to do something different. His one-two body shot, not doing enough. He needs to be a little bit more unorthodox. Do something different. Let's see if Abena goes for gusto here. 
at least Tuchasi has kept him honest. He hasn't just, you know, thrown caution to the wind, Abena. Yeah, Abena just threw two sneaky calf kicks. People probably don't even notice them, but I, they probably hurt more than all those other low kicks that were landed. Knee to the body from Abena. Just kind of a workmanlike performance by him. Just steady as she goes. Yeah, just walks his way closer every time. Tushashi wants to lead. I'm just going to walk. He doesn't run. Just takes his time. Yep, takes a little breath and then it's bang, finds his counters. Chassi's well, still giving it a go, isn't he? Yeah, he's still opening up with those power punches. Ooh, he tried the knee and just yeah. missed. That's the beautiful strike, though. I think that's the one for him. If he's going to get it, that's the one. How about a spinning back kick? Yeah, if he's good at it, but I just think it's hard to have that space to do the spinning back kick because Abena keeps pressuring. To spin like that, you need a little bit more space. Crowd trying to get behind Tachasi. I mean, he certainly looked like he belonged tonight. Yeah. It's not like uh, if you didn't know, you wouldn't think he was in there with someone way bigger than him in a weight class higher. These aren't like boxing weight classes where they've got, what, 17 different ones? Yeah, I I mean, just, yeah, I'm just still excited to see Tusashi go back to his regular weight, have a full camp, and see him fully develop to his potential. This was a, a risk, a good one for him to take it, but he's just oh. eating way too many left hooks now. Yeah, with 15 seconds left. Let's see how aggressive Abena goes. Up four rounds. Ooh. Oh, right hand from Tuchasi, who gave us all he had. Obviously not enough, but... In chip rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All five of our ringside judges see them out and score them out the same 50-45 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, light heavyweight champion of the world! Our head of talent operations, Robbie Timmers. I'm here with the champ, Donna Giabena. A tougher fight than maybe you expected. No, because he had nothing to lose. So I knew he was coming to fight. And he came to fight. He gave me good five rounds. And I'm happy that he stepped in last moment. So, uh, yeah. How did you feel about your performance? I have to see it back, but if it's 50-45, it was pretty dominant, but yeah, that's it. I also think today I had my favorite walkout. You want to talk about what that was? Yes, I want to give the audience and the people at home a little bit of entertainment. I know you always picked your path, choose your direction. Where are we going from here? Uh, there are a lot of contenders, but for now I'm going on a good vacation because I'm suffering from a couple of injuries. And when I'm healed up, I'm coming back for the rest of the division. I know you really wanted Kababes, but is that the next fight for you, you think? Let's see. I don't know yet. I have to decide with my team what we're going to do from here. But from now on, I'm going to enjoy this win. And that's it. All right, I know you have a big following back home in here. Any last words? Modo Nation, stand up. All right, let's hear it for your champ, Donna Giabena. So Donaghy Abena now improves to five and four in glory, his 27th professional win. It's hard to argue with what he said. Hey, if I won every round, 150-45, it's kind of hard to say anything negative about my performance. Yeah, I mean, he's usually a little bit more vocal after. I thought he was going to be more talkative, but I mean, he was honest with his performance, seemed a little tired, but uh, excited to see him getting his win. And I would love to see that fight with Kababes. There was a lot of heat building up about it, so we'll see what the future holds. Two title fights